Welcome, Dark Warriors. This is Rumen. So it appears the Sorcery Globe's geological effects on the planet have started taking place. And this town, Click, was destroyed by a tsunami and an earthquake. How about that? I wonder what that girl, Ophelia, knew about all this. Don't you think that earthquake had vertical shock? Um, what do you mean? Don't you think that earthquake had vertical shock? Like, what does that even mean? I don't know. Well, at least I was able to save my prize collection of Minato Sensei's books. Where are you, my darling? Goodness gracious, saints preserve us. All right. Time to go. A big wave came all of a sudden and washed everything away. All right. Next destination is Mars. Wow, look at that. The whole town is gone. You can't even explore the ruins, my goodness. Alright. Goodbye, town. Sorry I couldn't save you. I'm not I'm not powerful enough for that at the current moment. Is there anything over here? No. Look off to the distance. It's funny, I was wondering why Star Ocean first departure looks so much like a PS1 game for being on the PSP. And it's because it's modeled after a PS1 game. It's based after the visuals of this game. Oh, look at this battle art. This is new battle art. Look at that water. Look. All right, pretty straightforward battle. It's gonna go back to Mars. There it is. This is Mars, I think. Yes, it is. Okay, what do I do here? A gang of bandits has taken the children hostage and is holed up in the Heraldry Forest. Oh my gosh. Gotta go save them. Oh my, what do we do? The children are being kidnapped. Oh my goodness. This is a sudden change of events. What, what children? I don't even recall children being here on my first visit. I mean, there were probably kids here. I just, I just forgot about them. Are you Philia? No. Okay. She looks like Philia. Over here. No, that just leaves the town. Oh my gosh. I thought that was where the forest was. Nope, nope, get back in there. Get, get back in there. Okay, wh where is this forest? Everyone in Celine's house is gone. I wonder why. Oh, and the, and the shopkeep here is gone too. What happened? This person's still selling things. Do I gotta do a private action? Maybe. A single swordsman just passed through the village thinking we could ask for his aid. I took him to the elder's house. Elder's house? Is this the elder's house? Uh, Celine! Mother, what is going on? Sometimes we wonder about that ourselves. Anyway, come over here and sit down. This is the worst incident to ever happen in the history of Mars. Mr. Elder, sir, we still don't know everything about this incident. Would you please give us the details? Let me tell them. Father. It all started yesterday evening. All of the children who should have been in the village have vanished out of trace. Just as we were about to begin a hasty search, he brought back a terrible message from the Heraldry Forest. I'm guessing the Heraldry Forest is like the next dungeon or something. At that time, I had been training in the Heraldry Forest and suddenly a bandit appeared right in front of me. I was on my guard, but the bandit made the following announcement and disappeared. Our boss has the children of your village. If you want them back, you must get together 500,000 full and the book of secret shells. There are 50,000. Sounds like a late game problem. What is the book of secret shells? I cannot discuss everything, but it is one of the books of the legendary heraldry arts. 
that we do not allow to leave the village. We were terribly shocked when we heard that. We were shocked not only by the fact that our children were kidnapped, but that the bandits had entered the heraldry forest. Hidden holy crests had been carved in order to prevent evil from entering the heraldry forest. The ability to breach this enchantment can only mean that the enemy is a formidable user of heraldry. It's a lizard. It's fucking lizard, dude. So are the children safe? According to a second messenger, the bandits are holed up with the children in the depths of the heraldry forest, and we have no intention of moving until we meet their demands. We know nothing further. The heraldry forest is the place for the training of masters of heraldry. It can also become a natural fortress depending on how it is used. They're totally talking about that guy that we talked to earlier. The guy who had that like yellow green hair in the cutscene with Selene. Even then, several of us should be sufficient to defeat an enemy such as these bandits. However, considering the risk to the lives of the children, we cannot interfere any more than necessary. I mean, it sounds like their lives are already in danger. Even though the enemies may be mere bandits, they were powerful enough to break the enchantment of the heraldry forest. Even a victory would be meaningless if the children are not safe. Well then, there is nothing we can do. I'd say go in there and give them all you got, but we could not just stand around with our hands in our pockets. As a result of our investigation, we found the bandit's hideout. Now we just have to rescue the children. Didn't you literally just say, don't do that? That's great. Yes, but as I mentioned before, we were a bit anxious with us alone. Then by chance, we met a master swordsman who was passing through the village and asked for his assistance, but... Dias. Rena? So, Rena, do you know Mr. Dias? I'm gonna call him Dias. Yes, we are from the same village. Will you ask for Dias' help? Yes, Mr. Dias is such a master swordsman that there is no swordsman who does not know his name. Well, then he will have no trouble defeating those men. After all, Diaz is the stronger swordsman than anyone. So, Father, did you give Diaz your okay? Saying that it would be a good warm-up for the LaCour Tournament of Arms, he accepted it, but... I was opposed. Rather than hiring such a person of unknown repute, I would rather we step into the forest ourselves. He'd never do anything like that. I can vouch for both his character and his skill with the sword. My dear, even if you should vouch for him. Well, this is also the problem of our village. We may be irresponsible for hiring a swordsman who is merely passing through. Is that so, father? Then I know the best method of solving our problem. Why don't you leave the task of defeating the bandits to us? Selene, are you serious? Of course, this is the time that we can clearly demonstrate the results of our training. I mean, we're not that far into the game. I mean, it doesn't matter to me, but if you're... Oh, it's Dias is talking. It doesn't matter to me, but if you're giving me the boot, I'll just leave this village. But if you fail because of this arrogant woman, don't complain to me. Oh my goodness. It's like she's talking about all the training we've been through, but we really haven't been through much at all. Like, this is episode 10, maybe? I cannot believe the rudeness of this man. You're the one who's being rude. You come in the middle of everything and screw up the operation. I'll have no more of this. I'm going back to the inn. Hey, look at that. He looks a lot different than earlier. Wait, is that the same guy? I don't know. I'm confused. Was, wasn't he the guy that kidnapped Rena earlier? I'm so confused. Father, are you really going to hire that suspicious looking swordsman? They're just a gang of bandits, so you'll easily crush them. Well, that's what they say, but Celine. Rana. Rana, say something.
This cutscene is not over. Brenda went to Diaz's place and hasn't come back. All right, where does he live? I wonder if she really plans to go by herself. Maybe she really does. She must really have confidence in her own skills. I can't believe that elder, he still wants to hire that man. Claude, let's show off a little. Well, okay, all right. Well, I don't know. Rena is a much better mage than Celine. From what I've gathered, you sound like you have no enthusiasm, and I had already persuaded Father. Oh, there's Rena. Like Rena can heal and stuff, and her magic lasts longer. But Celine runs out of magic so quickly. You're too late. Did that man do something to you? I know that this is sudden, but I have a request. I want you to get him to join us. What do you mean by that? I asked Diaz and then he promised that he would fight together with us. Well then, since it is a request from his cute girlfriend, he is certain to agree. It's not like that his skills as a swordsman are really top rank. He would be a great help to us. What should we do, Claude? I mean, any help is good help. Claude, say yes. He said that he could do it by himself. If that's so, there is no need to go with him. Claude! You're terrible. Why do you say that? I'm not lying. We have no need for that man. Come on. Okay, then I'll go with Diaz. That's right, Rena. Rena. Claude may not need him, but I need Dias. I mean, Diaz. I don't understand the problem. I mean, I do understand the problem. I guess I can't be helped. Like, like Claude doesn't want to help Diaz, and Celine wants to go with just Claude to do the mission. So when Rena says, how about let's all do it together, and her team refuses, then I feel like her going with Diaz is a pretty rational thing to do because they just refused to help her. So why wouldn't she go with Diaz? Tomorrow is D-Day, so let's quickly put together our equipment and return to the Elder's house. Is there no need for me? No, there's clearly a need for, for you. Claude, you're the whole deal. All right, let's go. You're, you're full. Are you full? Oh, they're here. I like going alone. I don't want any encumbrances. No matter what you say, I'm going with Diaz. Leave me alone. Okay. I agree with Rena. I don't know why Claude couldn't just accept him on the mission, un unless it was just pure jealousy. Why don't you rest up for tomorrow? Yes. All right, what's going to happen? Gonna be a cutscene. Yes. Listen, the safety of the children is first and foremost. I want you to proceed with that in mind. Please leave the defense of the village up to us. You be careful too. Naturally. Say, Claude. How would this go down, Claude? How would this go down if we didn't get Celine earlier? Like, if she wasn't with us, what would happen? Oh, yeah, right. Do you think it would have been better to go together after all? Well, yeah, clearly it would have been better. But Claude was like, no. Then why don't you think they didn't wait? Well, they have their own way of doing things. Perhaps they want to defeat the bandits first and boast about it. Celine, this is not a race. If you meet them, I want you to cooperate with them and proceed. I understand, Mr. Elder. Now there are some boots that you will need to cross the swamp and land in the forest. There are some places that you cannot pass without them. Mud boots. 
Thank you very much. I promise that we will bring back good news. Have you been thinking about what Renna said? Well, I mean, I bet Renna's thinking about what Claude said more. Whatever. Okay. Oh, look at this. The time is here. We cannot lose out to Renna and the others. I know. Oh, birds! Birds in the background. Look at look at the birds. Okay. Uh, equipment. Claude. Yeah, mud boots. I'm guessing I gotta I gotta wear these. Unfortunately. Oh, look at how this item looks. The Luna tablet. Fancy. All right. It is time to. Okay. Wait. What? I don't know. The equipment wizard just did something, but it is time to save. There has not been a save point for a long time, actually. All right, left or right? I guess let's just go left. Oh, there's a chest here. Herb. I mean, herb. Okay, what's over here? Bandits. Who goes there? You bring money? What is this? You got nothing. That's not exactly true. We have a lot of money. Take it all. You'll find out in a fight. What? Oh, okay. This is bad. Here's the enemy. They look pretty tough. They look pretty tough. I hope they're not tough. Are these enemies tougher than usual? Kill them all. Only 89 damage. Okay. Ah, oh, stop! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Celine, get him! Get him, Celine! Get him! Attack. At Ow. Ah. There. Celine's just doing all the work. <laughs> oh my god. Fucking. Ah, fuck. Stop. Oh boy. I am almost dead. And Celine has no healing magic at all. Ah. Oh, okay. Alright. Okay. Okay, that was a tough encounter, so I'm going to see if I can switch up my attacks a little bit. Uh, sure, I don't know what that does, but I'll take it. Perseverance, I do want to buy more of that. And why does Celine have five aesthetic scents? I did not buy this, so I don't know what that's all about. All right, let's see how Head Splitter is. I hope it's good. Okay, let's try this encounter one more time with my new fangled abilities. Might be a good fight. Oh my god. I missed. Get it, Claude. Oh, did a lot of damage. Oh, neat. There we go. That makes everything a lot better. It just uses a lot of MP. Ah. Oh my god. Okay, dead. Dang it, I'm trying to wait for the enemy to attack first so I can attack it back. But it just hits me. Like like I try to bait out a swing, but no. They are they they were stronger than I thought, yeah. I think these battles have seemed easier than they were previously because Rena was healing me before. Oh, have they expired? Hardly. All right, let's go. Uh, this way. Oh God, more bandits. Should I have went back and saved? I don't know. You must be the scum running around the forest. Aren't you talking about ourselves? I mean yourselves. I hope you know what we will ha I hope you know what will happen to the lives of the children. What do they want with the children? Shouldn't you be worrying about your own lives before the lives of the children? That was kind of badass for her to say. The enemy. I have no choice. All right, use that. Land on it. Okay, that is an up close move. 
And I'm already out of MP, but that's fine. Oh my god, whatever, whatever. Hold on a second. Uh, item... Blueberry, yeah. There we go. I am paralyzed. Oh my god. Kill it. Please kill it. Oh my god. Every time I attack. Just kill it. Just kill it. Okay, there we go. Alright. I'm getting a lot of experience from these battles, though. 